All right, what is up guys? It is Will here, back again, and today I'm here to showcase slash review the Secret Lab Attack on Titan gaming chair. So, guys, I picked this up a while ago, like maybe about a year ago, sometime around there, and I wanted to showcase it because there weren't really any videos showcasing how awesome of a chair this is. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see here, sorry. So, when originally I was considering picking this up, I was looking for a really nice chair for my live streams, something that would be comfortable and something that would look the part for live streams, for gaming, for uh, collectibles, whatever the case may be, right? So I'm a huge fan of Attack on Titan. I knew about Secret Lab. I knew what they cost. And I was like, man, I've heard really good things. I've heard that they make your experience that much better. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I put it on pre-order at the time. There were a bunch of others that were in stock. However, I'm a huge fan of Attack on Titan. As you can see, I have Mikasa and Aaron and Levi up there. And I would get more Attack on Titan stuff if it becomes available. That said, this chair was something that was very appealing to me. Now, if we're looking at this version of the chair, this is the extra large version. I am 6'4", I weigh about 180 pounds. So for me, the large version, the measurements did not quite add up. It went up to about 6'2", in height, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna risk it. The extra large is for me. I will say, if you do consider getting the extra large, it is a beefy boy. It handles up from like a 195 pound person to a 395 pound person. There's, so there's quite a range there um, uh, in weight. And then in height, you can go all the way from like maybe 5'9 to 6'2, somewhere like that, but to all the way up to like seven foot. So this is a pretty wide encompassing chair. Uh, when I sit in it, uh, my head does definitely not go too far to the top here. This is the memory foam pillow, really, really nice. It's magnetic. The previous versions used to use straps from what I was told. So you can see here, it magnetizes right to the back there. It holds pretty well. During a live stream, I don't generally have issues. It can fall off from time to time. The magnets are relatively strong, good, not great as I would describe it. So you can see it can slide a little bit. It does suffice though, let's just say it works. So we can see here the logo, that is really, really great. I, like I said, love everything about the design and the aesthetics of this chair. So this is really, really dope. Uh, we got like a cotton sort of, I don't know if it's a cotton, it's sort of like a fabric material here. And the rest of it is pleather, but you do have that fabric feel, but the pleather is really, really nice. Supposedly it's high quality pleather, it feels it. So yeah, it's, it's really, really dope. I love the green, blue, and white color scheme on the back really great. You can see some brown there on the bottom of the chair. So yeah, this is a really, really nice one. The Secret Lab logo doesn't bother me at all. I think it looks great overall. And this color scheme, I think, just really pops on a live stream. There are a lot of cool ones, the Dark Knight one, but it's kind of simple. The Game of Thrones ones are kind of cool, but the Attack on Titan one, I feel like, just had the right color scheme for me, and considering I love the show, can't wait for <laughs> season four, part five, part six to air. Yeah, the final part, but yeah, it's been a great ride nonetheless. And uh, yeah, it was really, really great. So a lot of magnets involved in this. So you can see here the little uh, armrests, they are magnetic, you can pull them off, right? Not sure why you wouldn't wanna have the armrests on, but you can see they have magnets in there. Just plop that right back on there. That magnet's pretty strong. Uh, you can see here, you can adjust the tilt there with this lever right here. You just pull it and then slide your body forward or backward and it will adjust accordingly. The chair has wheels. I will say, sliding it on the wheels, the assembly was a little bit of a process, nothing too crazy. You can adjust the height of the chair down here. Right there, you can make the adjustments. You can adjust the height of the armrest right here. You just pull this little thing and slide up or down. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of the chair. I will say it's pretty comfortable. Uh, let me reverse screen here. Uh, oh, it's gonna flip it to that, <laughs> right? It's not gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna make this uh, just work how it is. I was gonna say you could see me sitting in the chair, but uh, there are plenty of live streams, I guess, if you wanna note me doing that. Um, so there's a wide view of the chair. We got a wide angle going right now, so pretty dope. Uh, I would give this chair a really high score. I really, really like it. I don't have any complaints about it. Um, I'd probably give it like a 10. I mean, I, honestly, what more could I want? The chair is comfortable, it looks great, it has all the right parts. Maybe real leather would be nice, but supposedly the pleather is long lasting. They do give you a couple accessories. So they give you these, these wipes, these leather wipes. I have not even used these yet. Uh, apparently they're pretty good for the health of the chair, so I probably should use them. 
but they're really, really cool. They give you this backdrop. You can see mine's been bent a little bit up. I've just been storing it, but it's nice. It's, it's the wall and I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, I think that's really, really great. So yeah, I'm excited about it. And yeah, those are those Attack on Titan Kotobukiya statues I mentioned. So yeah, really, really cool. And excited to see the end of the show. So yeah, there's my foot for all the feet fetish people. So anyway, guys, there's the backdrop. That one more time. And the chair. Really, really like it. Very happy with it. I would recommend it. I think it cost me about $684 shipped. However, nowadays they have spring sales and Monday sales and Thursday sales. So you can get this guy probably for a pretty reasonable price, like maybe like $550 or something like that shipped. So pretty reasonable. Look at the measurements on the website. I definitely recommend picking something that works for you. The XL works for me because I'm 6'4", about 180. So yeah, really, really dope. I honestly wish I could showcase more of the chair during live streams for the back because the back is so cool. The back is so cool. So yeah, really, really great. And I would recommend it. Anyway, if you have any comments or thoughts, let me know in the comments below, any questions. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching this informal review. I just wanted to post a video of the chair because there are a lot of Attack on Titan fans out there and they're probably looking at this chair and there was nothing out there to uh, explain it or to go over any of the aspects of it or showcase it. So now we have that. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out my other content if you have some time. Lots of good live streams, videos, uh, thoughtful stuff. So thank you for watching and for the support as always. Peace out. Bye. Say goodbye.